Hey everyone, welcome to another Vallejo and WizKids basic set painting tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be covering Masters of the Arcane. That is your wizards, your sorcerers, and related magic users. For that, we'll be covering vibrant reds and majestic blues. Strap in, here we go. For the How to Paint Masters of the Arcane basic set, you're going to need some Vallejo brushes, preferably a zero, a number one, and a number two, a Vallejo dry brush, some water for thinning your paints and cleaning your brushes, some paper towel, and a paint palette. The first step for the Vibrant Red is to base coat the area with heavy red, which is an extra opaque paint that will go on in one coat. I like to thin my paint with a little bit of water so that it flows nicely. The next step is to add a black wash. Now we're going to thin it again with just a little bit of water to help it to flow, but we basically want to work it into all of the recesses of the folds to add natural shadow. You're going to want to let this dry completely before moving on to the next step. Once that's done, you're going to want to take heavy red and paint it as a mid-tone highlight onto all of the upper folds, staying away from the recesses where the black wash has settled. The next step is to take some Scarlet Blood and we're going to paint that over the heavy red areas to add the next level of highlight. Next we're going to add some orange fire to the scarlet red to create the next level of highlight. Now we want to focus this on the uppermost peaks where the vibrant red would be the lightest. At this point we're probably looking at about a 50-50 mix of Scarlet Red and Orange Fire. For sharp edges, you can use the side of your brush as I'm doing here in order to catch that edge. Now finally, we're going to use Orange Fire at full strength for the final highlight. And this is going to be a very thin line on the very edge and peaks of the areas that would catch the most light. For the majestic blue areas, we're going to use a base coat of heavy blue. As usual, the heavy colors are extra opaque paints, which means that they can go on in one coat because we want really solid coverage before we move on. Next, we're going to go ahead and add a black wash after the heavy blue is completely dry. We're going to also want to dilute this with a little bit of water to help it to flow really nicely into the recesses. Once the black wash is completely dry, we're going to go ahead and paint heavy blue back into the large areas in between the recesses. We want to maintain the shadows in the deepest parts of the material. Then, taking Magic Blue, we're going to create a mix of about 50% Magic Blue and 50% Heavy Blue. We're then going to apply that as another highlight in a smaller area within the area that we just added our mid-tones.
Finally, we're going to add electric blue as a final extreme highlight. And this is going to be on the very peaks of the texture that we have already painted majestic blue. Again, we want to focus on the areas that are the highest portions or closer to the light source. Now adding the gold trim is very simple. We're just going to paint some glorious gold along the edge to accent the current areas, which will look really nice against the majestic blue. Thanks for watching this tutorial and I hope you enjoyed it. When you're done painting your miniatures, make sure that you tag Vallejo, WizKids, and Realmsmith in your social posts so we can see what you came up with. And also make sure to check out the other amazing technique sets and the starter sets in the WizKids Vallejo paint line. We'll see you again soon.